recent legislation. Since time is almost over and without it, it's impossible to live out your lives, and all go now, pay later, plan the stellar councils, have unanimously voted to repeal the law of karma. This came about because Mission Control brought it to the council's attention that there wasn't enough time left to fulfill the law of karma's requirements and still meet our transmutative deadline. As a result, the councils decided that it was easier to get rid of the whole thing than it was to figure out a way to meet its demands. Another reason the councils were moved to this decision is that the Kashuk records are just about full. The thought of having to add on another win and increase its library staff was more than the participating councils cared to address at this time. They felt they had more pressing projects to invest in during this fiscal millennium. As a result of these factors, and the additional fact that it is virtually impossible for anyone to be a master and a student at the same time, the councils have not only rescinded the law governing the karmic emotional system, but have also unanimously voted to enact the law of grace. Consequently, all debits have been removed from the cosmic records, and you are free to move forward with no reference to any debts you may have incurred. You are also free to stop pretending that you are a student. This legislation makes it easier all around, and has sent a sigh of relief throughout the Intergalactic Council's administrative staff, especially the Justice Department and the Interdimensional Retribution Service. It should likewise send a sigh of relief through you. Mission Control repeats this important bit of news. The Law of Karma has been repealed, and the Law of Grace enacted to assist you in your manifestation of divinity. All debts have been forgiven, and all court dates cancelled. You are free to proceed outside the jurisdiction of karma and in the state of grace. The blessings of all the councils go with you. Self-help techniques. The greatest self-help technique you can practice is the art of laughing. This is not to say that everything that is coming down is entirely funny. For instance, you may find it difficult, at first, to get a chuckle out of a rapidly disappearing ozone layer and the petrochemicals you are drinking with a very glass of water. And to be perfectly honest, even we don't find the Federal Reserve very amusing. However, getting depressed is not an answer. This is the most critical moment of change in this planet's history, and your assistance in that change is vital. Humor has the effect of raising your vibratory level, and you won't believe how high it has got to go to get through this one. Going catatonic over the seriousness of the global situation will not only not help the globe, but it will also effectively knock you out of the ball game. Our advice? Keep laughing. Another practice you will find invaluable is owning up to your creative capacity. Your reality is formed by your attention, and it is entirely your choice if you end up as a second-rate actor in a B-movie instead of a star on the star that is about to be born. It is also advisable to keep in mind that you are here on assignment. Please don't get sidetracked into thinking you have cancer just because you have visited the ward. Remember who you are and what you are doing, and keep your eyes on the stars. The Great Awakening The 1990s are the decade of the Great Awakening. By comparison, the 90s are destined to make the 60s look like little more than an episode out of Leave it to Beaver. In this decade, the second wave of extraterrestrials will remember who they are. The newly awakening group constitutes the majority of the beings on this planet who are carrying within their genetic structure the seeds of a new consciousness. This tide of consciousness is an unstoppable force, and its impact is destined to sweep across and shape the shores of the incoming millennium. The Great Awakening is a manifestation of the victory of light that has already been accomplished on this plane and now has only to play itself out on this dimension. The greatest help you will receive on this mission will happen through this awakening of your fellow members. The escalation of transmutational energy caused by this awakening will irreversibly tip the global scales in the direction of spiritual realignment. This vibrational escalation will be a demonstration of a very sophisticated extraterrestrial concept, which we call multidimensional marketing. During these times, please be generous 
and loving in your assistance to those around you. They are most likely your downline. Star see the next generation, another great source of assistance, and this mission will be extended to you by the generation that follows. This manual is primarily directed at the vanguard of this mission, whose task is to cut the pathway to a new civilization. However, the generation that you have prepared the way for is right behind you. They are the builders of the civilization for which you now establish the foundation. We have noticed that your current civilization has been alarmed by this generation as they have begun to make mincemeat out of your standardized tests of measurement. Many of them are logging remarkably low scores on your intelligence tests, such as the SAT examination. They are also having a field day with your psychological tests for normalcy, such as the Minnesota Multifacet Personality Inventory. May we suggest that the Minnesota Mulet phase has never been adequate to measure anyone outside of Minnesota, and it is even more inadequate in measuring an extraterrestrial who may have an alarming predisposition toward androgyny and other psychologically suspect behavior. The Starseed group is equipped differently and is basically bored by the questionable standards of intelligence and dysfunctionality posing as mental health that you are submitting them to. It would actually be more appropriate to measure this generation with a Richter scale if you were truly interested in understanding who they are. And it may be time to scrap the outdated exams that only assess their response to slavery. Just as you are great masters of consciousness, so are they. Their task is slightly different, but they will support you and yours as they await their moment to make their presence known. Treat these masters well. They are the seeds that are to bear the fruit of your ecstatic destiny. Audio visual aids. The Intergalactic Council is in the process of considering its forthcoming line of interdimensional paraphernalia to assist you into your real identity. If you are already there, none of these audio visual aids will be necessary. However, if you are still in transition, you may find their fall line useful. If you wish to be on the Council's mailing list, Please send your name and address to us at the address listed in the back of this book. Be sure to indicate that you are interested in the Council's ET designer line so that we don't mistakenly issue you an unrequested permit or license. Note, if you have applied for a creative license, you will automatically be placed on this mailing list unless you indicate otherwise. Monitoring. The sentry is not for your assistance. It is for ours. Some of our technicians have lodged a complaint and requested that we place it in this manual. As mentioned elsewhere, all members of this mission are under constant surveillance by our monitoring staff. In many cases, this has gotten to be quite a bore, and some of our personnel are having trouble staying awake at their panels. They are wondering whether you have forgotten why you are on this planet and would appreciate a little more activity in conjunction with the mission. So for their sake as well as the planets, will you please step on it? Their job description does not include monitoring an entire squadron that is asleep at the wheel. A formal invitation. Mission Control respectfully requests your presence. At a come as you are party RSVP. We know that this mission is not easy. We also know that many tears have been shed in the awesome process of its spiritual enfoldment. Be consoled in knowing that all tears are soon to be wiped from your eyes, and all your pain dismissed and forgotten. The glory and joy of what is about to transpire will render all you have endured a minor expense, a price you would be more than willing to pay again. You are all cordially invited to attend the birthday celebration that marks this mission's successful end. The celebration will put all the combined feasts of a very earthly head of state to shame. Such feasts will seem pathetic gestures, compared to the party that spirit is about to throw in your name. The revelation of the nature of your presence and this plane will soon be announced. You will be known as the honored guests of the spirit you came to serve, a disclosure that will end an entirely new meaning to the saying as star stood at cast. The dress code is simple, but mandatory. You must come clothed in your full presence, dressed in the spiritual light of the Lord's that you are. Clothe yourselves in the finery that befits spirits messengers to this plane. 
Come out of your hidden, and come fully attired as the distinguished members of Spirit's Divine Delivery System of the Stars. Come in short, as you truly are. We bless you all for your courage and your commitment, and we honor you for your accomplishments in this plane. Take heart in the knowledge that your task is almost over. This carbon-based planet will shortly burst into a diamond, a gem in the crown of the solar system's skies. The celebration will then begin. This is mission control over and out.